Hello, this is Lake Hammond on KSTP Radio's Jazz Line, and one of the foremost contemporary saxophone players in the country is on the business end. He's a member of a very special school of modern music, and I might ask him a little bit about it. His name is Warren Marsh. Warren, you're there, I know. Hello, Ray. It's nice to talk with you. Same. I noticed uh, Nat Hentoff did some footnotes on you, and he asked you a question about what did you learn from Lenny Tristano? And I was so interested in hearing more about that that I thought I'd put that question to you, too. Well, uh, judging by the results, uh, I, I don't really imagine I would have gone into jazz as uh, an art if I hadn't met him and studied with him because I was headed in the other direction of uh, doing, being simply an instrumentalist rather than uh, something as creative as jazz. Thank you very much, Warren Marsh. Uh -huh. Warren, I'd like to ask you uh, what you d uh, what you actually distinguish as the difference between an instrumentalist and a real genuine modern musician. Uh, well, uh, the instrumentalist could be genuine enough. Uh, the difference is uh, in the creative part of it. In other words, an instrumentalist would sit in an orchestra and read a part that someone else has written. Mm -hmm. A jazz musician, at best, creates his own music as well as being the instrumentalist who plays it. That's the uh, essential difference. And this, I suppose, is somewhat the influence of Lenny Tristano on you and Lee Konitz. Uh, them and the, the other uh, outstanding creative musicians, Charlie Parker and Lester Young particularly. Mm -hmm. Well, in mentioning... Uh, people like the president, Lester Young, what do you think he stands for in relation to jazz? Uh, I think he was, besides Louis Armstrong, one of the very first people to uh, uh, be a, a soloist, I guess, because in Dixieland there weren't soloists as such. Louis was such an outstanding musician that he uh, approached that stature, but after him, I think Lester Young uh, was the first one to be a truly improvising soloist. Thanks very much for your views on Lester Young and the idea of improvising and also being what you call, in strict terms, an instrumentalist and a creator. All right, Lay. Warren Marsh on the Jazz Corner party line. You can hear the trumpet solo developing there. Once again on the KSTP Radio Jazz Line, Warren Marsh, one of the most intelligent of the saxophonists in the business, a man who is what you might call a thinking man's musician. There are a few of those around, uh, Warren, and I hope I didn't give you any label that you'd care to duck. But I would like to ask you uh, what, what self-expression in jazz means to you and uh, maintaining a personality and what the words integrity and artistry mean to you? Well, I think imagination is the most inclusive word I can think of right offhand. When you use the word thinking, it can be used a lot of ways, but if it's used imaginatively, you're, uh, you're in the area of creative work. You're developing your own art. In other words, it's personal. Warren Marsh, thank you very much for that... Uh philosophical view yeah. on your music. Okay, Lee.